welcome to Rosaryville. I haven't been here in ages. You know, uh, you have to pay to, uh, I think it's $2 to park here. So a lot of people park in the shopping center and ride their bikes in, but $2 is not that much, so I'm gonna pay it. Nobody around except another car. And this is the beginning of the perimeter trail, 975 mile loop. You could either go clockwise or counterclockwise. Doesn't make a difference. I guess I'll go whatever. But usually, if there's meetups, it's completely packed. But if you come on a weekday, it is only $2 to get in and park. You know, it's worth it if you don't want to pay for parking. You can park at the shopping center and just ride a short distance here. Nine, 10 miles worth of trail. And here we go. So this is the choice that you have. Perimeter trail clockwise or counterclockwise. I guess I'll go clockwise. I think most people go clockwise too. So you're going to have to excuse my lack of videos lately. I haven't been doing a lot of videos because I've been preoccupied. <laughs> oh, I just swallowed the bug. Oh. I've been preoccupied with the Johnny Depp, Amber Turd lawsuit. I've been like following that pretty closely. You know, I've been going to the courthouse in Fairfax, Virginia every single day at 5 in the morning. Then I started going at 4.30. I'm a Johnny Depp super fan. So, first day, I just went there to scout what was going on to see if I could get a glimpse of the master. And then I did my thing. I dressed up as a pirate. And I went five in the morning, tried to beat everybody. I got on TV once. ABC, the loser came around. And he was dressed like a pirate too, except he had a van, and this van was like a ship. It was like themed like a ship. I was just dressed like Jack Sparrow. God damn it. Like he stole my fire. That freaking loser. Who does that? Who's got the time? Who's got the time to color their van like a pirate ship? Huh? Oh yeah. Bear to the right. Amber turd. Taking dumps in the bed. But he is pretty hot though. That's the thing. When you're that hot, that good looking, I don't know. I might just let you let sit to the bed once. And only once. No more shitting. One, one time. Jeez, man, she's so beautiful. But crazy. All right, when you come to this parking lot, it's extremely confusing. Because you don't know where to go. But if you keep going straight, this used to be a parking lot. And the county, I think, closed it so they could put a gate in charge to get in. So you just want to go this way and there's these little things say perimeter trail but this is the way you go it took me a while to figure this out but this is where you come in shit shit target fixated on that route you know when you stop riding and you're going uphill the sogginess and the humidity really hit you in the east coast we have a lot of humidity for me riding in this sort of temperature it feels like a sauna it's like a poor man's sauna so i like it look at this they have a little board here but i'm too uncoordinated to go on it then they gotta make the board at least twice twice as wide it's so narrow you know i like this sort of pine needle type of paths first there's like lots of traction 
but also reminds me of Europe with the pine forests and also Oregon. Oregon is that way. Lots of pine forests everywhere. Oh, I thought there was a snake. Last time I came here, I saw a snake here. Oh, it feels really good to go downhill after climbing so much. I'm gonna cross over the power lines to the other side. So last time I was here, they were constructing, building something on the other side. So let's see what they have done. Okay, here's the trail. Oh, it's so hot. Oh yeah, I guess they did this. I don't know. I guess they put some irrigation whatevers. I wonder if people get ticks while riding mountain bikes a lot. Imagine hiking you do that. But mountain biking seems like you're going a little faster. Maybe they don't latch as much. I don't know. I'm trying to lose weight. I want to like get rid of my gut. Like lose 20 pounds. I weigh 100. 60 and I think I should weigh 145 150 it's difficult losing all that weight okay at this point you have this the Tilly trail it's just a little bit of a detour it adds a few more miles to the what is that the trip and it's got some obstacles I wonder why they call it Tilly and who comes up with these names by the way, that was a bear spotted in Orkney, Maryland, which is really rare. Never even heard of that. Oh, jeez. It's like they're putting stuff all over the trail. I remember not being able to do this one, but I think this one, if I don't get stuck on one of the things, then it's not too bad. I just ran into a turkey. Whew. That was crazy. Freaking huge turkey. This section is so overgrown. It's like hitting me all over. I think we're at the beginning of the Tilly Trail. The Tilly Trail just does a loop right back into the Pyramids Trail. So you kind of loop on the same part. All right, crossing over. Oh, it's so hot. Jesus Christ, it's so hot. Oh, I've never made that. Wow. I'm telling you, I think I have come a long way. But every time I ride with those guys in Fairland, I keep thinking I'm going backwards. It's all relative. Hey, squirrel! I like that they built this little bridge here. Whew, it's smelly here. Whew, all right, once you get to this point, you know that the parking lot is closed. That's a sign for the horse parking. And you're gonna be coming this way. Just follow the perimeter trail. All right guys, that is the trail. We are at the trailhead. Remember, you can do this clockwise or counterclockwise. It's a completely new trail when you reverse it. It's really interesting. Great trail and a lot of people from Alexandria, Virginia come here. Nobody except me here. I love it. God damn, so good to like ride when nobody's around. <laughs> so good. All right, I'll see you guys later.